Hey guys, it's Sam for Digital Meet again, and in this Cinema 4D plugin video, we're going to be looking at a plugin called Spline Outline. Now, you may be thinking, well, why do I need this plugin? You can already do a spline outline in Cinema 4D, and that's what we're going to look at now. Okay, so I've got a scene here, it's just a basic floor and some materials, but you can ignore all of that. And what I'm going to do is going to go into my, uh, in fact, let's do it with a um, text spline. So I'm going to create a text spline and going to make this very, very simple. So let's uh, make it the letter A and we're going to, uh, let's make its alignment in the middle and we can size this up so it's, fills the screen. There we go. Now, typically what I do if I wanted to do an outline for this is right click and select outline. Now, I can't actually do that at the moment because this text is, um, it's a text generator, really, even though internally to Cinema 4D it's a spline. I've got to make this editable. So we'll click that or press C and it will make this editable. And then what I can do is go into point mode and right click and then we've got this create outline. And if I select that and uh, click and drag, I can pull a copy of that spline inwards. And basically, that's what it does. Uh, we've got an outline of this spline now. And if I wanted to, I could drop this inside an extrude object, something like that. Let's just put a material on there. But the only problem with doing it this way is this is completely destructive. We now have a text. Well, we've got a spline that we can no longer change. I can't go into this and change the... Uh, uh, the lettering, I can't change the outline at all. Once the outline's done, that's it. Um, so it's it's useful f to an extent. If I wanted to make an outline and then I'm done, that's great. But any further than that, I'm kind of screwed, really. So this is where the Spline Outline plugin comes in. And that's this plugin here. I will be putting a link to this in the description of the video and on the website as well. Um, and this plugin is made by a guy called Matthias Nidoba. I think that's how you pronounce his name. I'm probably murdering it. But please go there, show your support if you'd like to as well. And um, yeah, let's get this out of the way. So this plugin then, let's, uh, let's start again, shall we? So I'm going to actually undo what I did there and get back to a state where this text object is still a text object. It's still generating text. And what I'm going to do is go to extensions, go to spline outline. I've already installed this plugin, put it there, and I'm going to put my text inside of it. And already you can see something's happening. So I'm going to select this spline outline and actually uh, repeat what I did before, which was something like this. And again, I'm going to put my uh, extrude at the top of this stack. So with the spline outline selected, I'm going to hold alt. Does this, let's make it green as well. But this is completely non-destructive this way. This spline outline, I can still change this distance. And it's essentially doing what the um, what the outline tool does when you right click. But it's non-destructive. I've still I've got access to this value anytime I want it, which is great. That also means that this does not have to be made editable. So I can actually change the um, the nature of the text if I wanted to. Like so, and then click off. And there we go, we've got a B. I could also change the height. Any parameter inside this is still available to me. So that's the power of this spline outline. Um, and that's the difference between it and doing it the regular way in Cinema 4D. Um, this spline outline is basically a generator now. So that's it pretty much, guys. Uh, I know it was short and sweet, but that's essentially all the tool does. But you can see how helpful that would be in certain settings. So uh, I just wanted to show you guys that. I'll see you in the next one. If you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of new tutorials. You can follow me on social media at Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn and Instagram. And make sure to visit me at digitalmeet.uk where you can vote for upcoming tutorials. Thanks for watching. Bye.